One of the questions I almost always get asked by students coming to my Gather Lampshade workshops is, what's the best fabric to use? Well, there are oodles of fabric choices, but lightweight is key. Silk saris are very popular, as are block print ecats, cotton lawn, chiffon, lightweight silks also work a dream, and of course, all things vintage. Let's find out how and why with the lovely Hazel, a student of mine who happily shares some of her thoughts with other students about the fabrics she chose to bring along to her first handmade lampshade workshop with Jacqueline's Crafty Critters. I'm doing the lamp in my hand and giving it a tug just to see what it would look like and see just to see whether they were too thin or the fabric was too dark or so. Well, that's perfect. And, I mean, all of those look and in the end, absolutely came, and came, suitable for gathered. The, I really like this one. Is that your favourite one? That's, I think. I think possibly it's one of my favourite ones. What we can do is we can I have a little like experiment. It. Gather it up and see how it looks when it's gathered. It does change the um, yes. the way the pattern looks. I have to make sure I had it the right way up as well. At the moment it's upside down. But. So when you gather it up, see if you see it, if that's how you. I mean, yeah. to me that looks beautiful. Yeah, so I really like that. So it's not actually obvious what the pattern is, is it? You won't be able to see the birds as much. No. And then I really like this one because this is, I like the grey and the pink in this. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, oops. We could make some, do some stuff with the trim as well. That's what I thought. Of matching the Reduce, pink. reuse, recycle. Oh my goodness, yes, absolutely. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Hazel's thoughts on the colours that she has in her home and where she might put her new lampshade once it's completed. So like this, so like this one, the colour of, that sort of like, um, almost like sea blue. Um, this one not so much, but I really like the two, the two colours in it. Oh, but yeah, I was trying not to go for colours that I'd wear, more colours that would be in the house. What, so so where are you thinking of this, having this shape? That one could be um, it could be in my room or it could be in my daughter's room. Um, and I was actually thinking of my little caravan as well because that needs a new shade. You can always have a feature shade though somewhere. That, like, yeah, starts with that colour. one. So even if you have like a blue room, you can have a splash of pink. Yes. And it would look fine. nice. Yeah, I really like that one actually. So if you do really like that one. Yeah. Hazel decided on pink and grey scarf. She didn't use the trim for this lampshade. However, she did save the trim to upcycle on another project. I include some process images in this video to give you a little taste of how handmade gathered lampshades are made. There's more detailed information on how to make gathered lampshades and other soft furnishing projects on my blogs, on my website and of course at my workshops. So pop over to www.jsinteriors.uk and have a little explore under resources, how-to videos, top tips and workshops. Indulge yourself in some creative me time. Don't forget to describe for the latest and of course don't forget to reduce, reuse and recycle.